There are so many local connections to this National Eucharistic Congress. Mary Siemens is on assignment making the local connection to Greensburg. The speakers here are on a mission to make Jesus known everywhere, including the Diocese of Greensburg. One of the most powerful experiences of the Congress featured Benedictine Father Boniface Hicks of St. Vincent Arch Abbey, who led a litany of healing and repentance during Eucharistic adoration. The entire Congress has really been uh, amazing, far beyond what I even hoped for or, or imagined. There's something here, there's a, a unity across the diversity of spiritualities and, and generations across the country that has been so beautiful. And I experienced that especially powerfully in the time of Eucharistic prayer as the, the Blessed Sacrament was brought to the floor of the stadium, uh, lifted up on an altar, all of the lights coming down upon the Lord, and then settling into more silence, and, and 50,000 people falling to their knees before Jesus Christ. And the Lord's presence was really tangible in that, in that context. Dr. Mary Healy, a professor of scripture, best-selling author, and international speaker, delivered a powerful testimony, noting that throughout the Bible, God was revealed as a healer. For the last 10, 11 years, the Lord has led me on a journey of understanding in a much deeper way how much He loves to heal and wants to heal far more often than we think, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. And He loves to use ordinary people as His instruments of healing. After my talk this morning, and then Father Matthias and I leading prayers for healing, I was at a meet and greet. Well, this lady came up with tears streaming down her face. And she said, I had a healing. And um, she said, my left eye, I couldn't see out of my left eye. I was blind. And I can see. And she said, I can see your face. I can read that over there. To see the Lord confirm like that, that He was there. We just prayed. We opened our hearts in faith. And I'm delighted to be coming to Greensburg to speak at the Women's Conference there this November. Oh, Dr. Mary Healy, I, first of all, I just love her. But she is one of the most influential women in our Catholic Church today. I think that it's going to be a time of renewal and refreshment for the women to come and listen to powerful speakers on rejoicing in the Lord and then to have time and community and relationship with other women to share our stories and to share our faith and to just be inspired for our daily journey in life. For more information or to register for the Spirited Women's Conference, visit dioceseofgreensburg.org slash spirited.